Hi, I'm Marie from ATA. This is Lee and this is Graham. They did our Melbourne program and just going to have a little chat with them as, yeah, and just wanted to find out a little bit about yourself. So I guess you could start first, Lee. Yeah, um, I, uh, at the moment I'm working uh, for Corrections in Victoria and I decided in 2004 that uh, I wanted to uh, do a T-cell course in order to um, meet two passions in life and that is helping people, giving a little bit back and also travel. So, and I thought this was the only way that uh, we could meet those two uh, passions of mine. And so, Graham? Yeah. And for myself, I, uh, I retired back in December uh, last year, having undertaken the same course in November. And again, uh, the passion was with my experience of 50 years of working, to, uh, to give a little bit back, and uh, the the TSOL program was certainly gave us the opportunity to do that with our travel, but yeah, also um, taking that experience from my working life and helping others. What did when you did the course? What did you enjoy about the course? I guess everything. Yeah. It really puts you um, into a um, uh, an environment with young people, young excited. People and I find that um, uh, that mixing with young people keeps you young. Also, the it gets you out of your comfort zone as well. But uh, it was one hell of an experience, thoroughly enjoyable. And I certainly remember that that first time we walked in that uh, in that, that room full of these uh, young buffs <laughs> and, and with a, uh, a lot of enthusiasm. I thought, my goodness, what have we walked into here? But at the end of the day, um, they are there to achieve the same objective as us, uh, to look at the, the program, and uh, here we are today. So where are you go where will you think you're heading to, to teach English? We picked uh, Vietnam. Uh, Graham starts up there uh, very shortly, and I'll follow not long after him. Uh, we picked Vietnam because it was close, and we thought that it would be the ideal place to get our bearings um, and uh, see how we go, see if we like the teaching, to see if the people liked us, and then maybe to move on from there. And yeah, I think you know Vietnam, as, as Lee said, is sort of close to home. We've got family here in Australia. Um, the initial part of my contract, and I'm going up there, as, as Lee said, in August, to, uh, to a school in Hai Pong, it gave us the opportunity for me to come back um, and with Lee not coming up for some period of time to uh, think close to home, uh, but at the same time uh, look at the opportunity that presents itself um, with the view that uh, here we are, at mature age if you like, um, taking on a, uh, on a passion that we enjoy. And I guess you're thinking of Vietnam as a starting point now, really. You're looking at other countries as well from Vietnam. Where would you like to go from there? I think once, we get, yeah, <laughs> once, once we get the uh, experience under our belt, um, we'd like to experience as many countries as uh, we can. So Vietnam is only just a starter, starting block for us. And hopefully, over the next few years, we will um, go. I'd like Turkey. I'd really like to teach in Turkey, but also I'd like to teach in China. So anywhere we, we that takes our fancy, we'll go on to. I think it'd be fair to say anywhere that the program will allow us to go, in terms of taking on and I think Marie writes before, gaining the experience in the in the school initially, and uh, and looking at it as the will be in the, the bigger bigger picture, so wherever the program will take us, we'll be there. I guess where it is, where English is a second language, the need to learn English is so great nowadays. And um, yeah, it's basically where you want to go. And with experience, armed with experience, it just makes you, uh, I mean, the schools are looking for people that can actually, t you know, walk into a classroom and deliver the classes. And I believe traveling just opens up people's horizons and in life you've got to keep doing things and as rewarding as traveling and I guess the other thing that comes out of it is you must love people and I'm, I'm presuming Lee and Graham loves people. Absolutely. You have to love them to be able to impart any knowledge and uh, we are, the world's become quite small. Would you agree with that? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. As I said, I come from a corrections back background 
and the multicultural um, backgrounds of people in, in the justice system at the moment, you have to be prepared and, and, and be aware of all sorts of culture. And that just gives me the impetus into being able to go across overseas and teach and be aware of people's different cultures. And I think, you know, if you look at the TESOL program, age is no barrier. It's an excellent program. Um, if you put your mind to it, I can thoroughly recommend it. And uh, we have absolutely enjoyed the journey to date. And certainly uh, we're looking forward to continuing that journey for how many years that uh, we may be able to do it. So to do. give it a go. And I have to end that on the same note, as Richard Branson says, just do it. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, the world's your oyster world's at the end, oyster. end of the day. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. Thank you.